stop it. You're a hidden traitor. Jealousy, all of you, once again. Jealousy. It is very honorable to be preach the word of God. And especially all my beloved brother, all our very, very honorable brother, those who are in Christ, those who are in my family. Praise God. Praise God. And especially I like to thank to my Heavenly Father, Father God, who is given me this opportunity, who is given me this platform to feed his children. Praise God. Praise God. And one more thing, uh, I have to remember always those who are anointed, those who appoint to lead these congregations, this house, Pastor Malcolm and Pastor Jesse, and God has spoken through them. Amen. To give. To give this time for me to share from the word of God. And uh, I don't have uh, new things uh, because uh, I have a principle whenever if uh, God speaks something in my heart, I will come and that day I will do something. And I will ask to that or somebody and uh, I will speak directly. But if anything is it not in my heart, I will not say anything. So I will make my mood to speak something, to preach something. But today, actually I was not in mood. The last moment that is telling me, Roman, uh, I am very getting late. If I reach the church, maybe it will be late. Either I will reach or not. But today you have to preach. The same things which you were sharing last Friday, the most of them, <coughs> those who are not attended in Friday service, so let them to know what you are saying about the obedience. And I said, okay. So I don't want to repeat the, all the things, what I was repeated, what I shared, and I just want to go shortly. Because uh, some of my fellow brother, he knows a uh, few couples of uh, weeks ago, dad was telling me to share about that topic. And he was given me to share about this coming this Sunday. And unfortunately, that day I have uh, some task to complete, which is given by dad. And I was busy to work to complete that task. And I know some brother was with me, and uh, there also they could not attend the meetings. The things actually, the topic that was given me, the topic was obedience. Okay, so obedience was in the relation of prosperity. Praise God. Praise God. And here says when. We are uh, studying this lesson number 39. When I was uh, reading, when I was uh, studying, when I was checking, I found this lesson already in 39. But we were reaching up to 20th, 20th or 29th, right? And uh, Elisha also uh, reminded me, Elisha was telling me, brother, this lesson is in the, already in ABC in 39. And I said, yeah, I know. I found it already. And when I, uh, I studied E, what I realized, actually the subject of prosperity, why Dr. Sevi, he put at the last of the lessons. And it is not easy, and we are not able to preach this subject easily. Praise God. Yes. And the prosperity, we can understand the view of worldly, they have, uh, they can describe from the several perspective. But the Bible, 
how it describes the four kinds of prosperity we can see it praise god in the bible in the biblical prosperity and the worldly prosperity there is a separate distinction between worldly prosperity and the biblical prosperity in the biblical prosperity we can found their own packages praise god it uh, we already heard it physically well social well spiritual well and mentally well praise god praise and god. we have to prosper each and every area amen praise god amen. so sometimes you know we are thinking i have prospered in one area maybe my fellow brother ajwal was uh, prosper another area and sometimes i can say she i am a prosper praise god but <coughs> each and every the body of christ we are together we are resemble we are represent to the christ as being a prosper it doesn't matter if i will not prosper some areas praise god but i feel proud and i will be try to follow i will try to follow food stick those who are my fellow brother which area is already prosper praise god and we will try to lead one and another in the perfectness in the fullness of christ amen praise god so there are many examples we can see the abraham was prosper isaac was proper prosper and they they are uh, they are prosper in every area praise god zika you already know and about the jesus also said he was of course he was prosper praise god he had everything he he had lack nothing we know that yes. praise god so and we can see here one more thing the prosperity it should be in the will of god praise god amen so we cannot compare to the worldly peoples if we see so as we are being a children of god as we are being a christians we are came to the abroad and we are work for others those who are gentiles praise god those who doesn't know about the god those who are not serving to the god praise god but we are work for them and we cannot say they are prosper praise god they are supposed to prosper each and every area which denotes from the bible amen and uh, uh day before yesterday my dad was asking something and brother umesh was giving some answer dad was asking how we will prosper how we will reach yes sir yes we are trying we are trying we are using several ideas praise god but the bible says always the promotion all the prosperity it comes from the god amen and until and unless we will not be the faithful with the god so we cannot be prosper might be maybe we will prosper in one area but all of the aspects we can't yeah resort yes sir if we want to be according to the biblical pattern of prosper we must obey we must follow to the principle of god amen amen so there is a, a numeric word our leader dr sehi he uh, put it he kept it in a very beautiful way he mentioned some uh, the numeric word of prosperity p for presence of god r for righteousness o for obedience as for sowing and p for prioritizing the kingdom of god 
E for enjoy the word of God. R for respect the servant of God. And I for in this tree. T for trusting God either faith. And Y for yielding to the spirit. Praise God. The first letter P for presence of God. And we, our dad was a teaching from this topic, the presence of God. Praise God. And this is the, uh, this is also denotes the prosperity, about the prosperity, the presence of God, it denotes, it shows, if anyone prosper, it must be, the God's presence should be there. Amen. Praise God. And as a last, uh, as a last Friday, I was uh, trying to mention something. Until and unless the God presence is not, will be there, we can't do anything. Praise God. So here about Joseph, we read already, and uh, brother, our Joseph brother also, he already described, he already uh, mentioned, he already uh, explained uh, from the life of. Joseph, praise God, and uh, the another another role model is uh, Hiskia, the king of Hiskia, and our beloved brother Prakas. He already described about Hiskia also, and there are one more character he mentioned. His name is Jude. Praise God. He is a superhero. Praise God. And nowadays I was trying to. Uh, make some note. I was trying to some presentations regarding David. I was working for that. And David is a very big subject. David was a blessed man to whom God has chosen, to whom God has lifted up. Praise God. And God wants to raise his tabernacle once again. Praise God. So he has a, so many things. We can learn so many things from the David's life. Praise God. And we should be, and he is our role model. Praise God. And Jesus himself, he also represented to David. Praise God. So, in the presence of God, in uh, this topic, this first topic, that was uh, preached already uh, about prayer, about praise. And the uh, obedience, the obedience, about the obedience I was talking, it's a, uh, it came from the Hebrew words and uh, the Hebrew meaning Shama, the Shama, it's uh, literally its meanings to pursue and uh, to follow to intelligently, <coughs> praise God. So, uh, obedience is a very uh, serious and we need to give it, uh, we need to give First priority, if something commanding, if we have to be obedient, it is the very most important in our life. Praise God. We must concentrate on that. We have to forget everything we have to keep aside if there is something commanded and if we have to be obey to that. Praise God. And we can see from the Bible the because of the disobeying. The Bible says the Romans 1, sorry, uh, Romans 5 19 says, because of disobedience, one man disobedience, sins come, the death comes. Amen? Mm -hmm. And one man who obeyed because of his obeys, obedience that comes righteousness and the life. Praise God. And we can, and we know very well. Who was that person? Jesus. Who brings sin? Who brings death? Yeah. Yeah. So, because of this obedience of Adam, and we know we all are become a sinner. Praise God. It's a very simple picture. So, how important is the obedience in the sight of God? Praise God. And obedience. To be obeyed, it's not easy. Praise God. If you see in the Bible, 
whoever we will check, we can take to the even the Abraham, how it was difficult to obey the voice of God. Praise God. <coughs> to sacrifice his son and uh, to sacrifice uh, his uh, country, his uh, peoples, to leave the country. And it was not easy for him. Do you think it is easy for us? Really no. Praise God. Yes, sir. And the biblical, whatever the reason in the Bible, it is not the story. This is the history. Praise God. Yeah. Which was in the past. So that's the reason God lived up to the Adam, sorry, Abraham. Praise God. When he could do that, after that, God raised him up. Amen. We can see it in the Genesis 22. If you see, so when after he did, after the sacrifice of his son, sacrifice means what he had to do from his part, he has done. The after that, God prospered him. Praise God. God raised him. And God says, you will be the father of nations. Praise God. And your children will be the like a saint, like a star. Praise God. So every nation will know you are the father. Praise God. And he was very prosperous. Who prospered? God. At the initial, at the beginning, to obey it, it is not easy. Praise God. And same things we can see in the life of Jacob. Okay? And uh, I just revising the, what I said. The Jacob, he was very innocent. Everyone, the dad is asking several times when uh, he is preaching in the uh, Friday service or every service. Who doesn't want to be prospered? Everyone wants to be prospered, right? Everybody wants to be blessed. Everybody wants to be blessed. Amen? Yeah. As the same manner, so Jacob has some desire. Jacob wants to be prospered. That was seen? Do you think? No. He has a desire. But he is a very innocent. If would be, if would, yeah, he would not be the sincere person, God will never choose. Praise God. Do you think God do mistakes? No. Never ever. So something he has a innocent, something he has a integrity in his heart. So God says, I prefer to Jacob and I hate to Esau. Praise God. He liked to Jacob but he hates to the Esau. And definitely we can understand from his intended word, so definitely Jacob was good. Praise God. And he has a something he desired to be blessed. That is not the sin. That is not the wrong. And his mother, his mother gave some instruction. His mother said, you have to do like this. You have to do it. And he's afraid. But <coughs> his mother is saying, don't worry. Whatever the cause will come, it will come to me. It will not affect you. What I'm saying, you just obey to me. What I'm saying, you just do it. Praise God. And he obeyed his mother. The consequence, his brother got angry and he's trying to kill him. Praise God. And the second part that is saying is the father and uh, his mother, both of them, they sent him with the Laban house. Praise God. And that idea was not his. And he was not thinking to go there. Maybe he wanted to skip somewhere. Maybe he will go to the, his brother and he will ask forgiveness. Something. But his father and mother sent him somewhere. So he went there. And uh, what he did? 21 years. 20 years he suffered there. And it was not easy. Praise God. He was doing very diligently whatever the work is given by his uncle. He was doing very faithfully. Because Bible says God has blessed to that lava because of Jacob. Praise God. And whatever he does there, it was with the integrity heart. Praise God. 
and the the reasons they did not the lama he did not justice in his life praise god several times he is in justice in his life praise god he several time fair was of his whatever he was earning his wages praise god so he spent 20 years in lavan's house but later on we can found what he has achieved what he obtained after that he obtained a lot amen he got everything he got a name is right and we can see the only one he persons god used his 12 sons and the name he put that 12 sons in the 12 tribe praise god all the generations for father is from the 12 tribe yeah. praise god praise god so we can find other man of god but god did not use all the sons of them but only one person jacob god has used his all the 12 son and he put he gave the tribes the 12 tribes praise god so and joseph also same manner when joseph was when joseph was obeying his father and it was not easy to obey him praise god he has only one thing he is in his mind i am going to fulfill my dad's vision praise god either my brother will kill me either my brother will do anything they will beat me they will kill me they will sell me whatever praise god but he had a only one intention to fulfill his father's vision praise god and he knows who is the father praise god he is not fulfilling the vision of jacob but he is fulfilling the vision of heaven the father amen praise god and every situations when he faced he just sit calm he just sit quiet he did not react to anything and whenever put him he did good so once he was doing good because of that they gave promotion him they promote him praise god and they put him in a high level praise god wherever even though he was in jail he got promotion praise god yes i don't know my fellow brother was jail he got promotion or not <laughs> You know, the Bible says when he was in jail, he promoted them. Praise God. That means he was, you know, his uh, attitude, his uh, style was uh, quite different than other. Praise God. That is the reason the their uh, jail jailer was uh, kept him on high place. Praise God. So. <clears throat> So we can see one more example about David when he did everything when he obeyed his father. So lastly, we can found David was the very stronger rather than other kings all over the world. Amen. Praise God, and he was the man after God's own heart. Praise God. he became a chosen he became a leader lifted one so everything when he could do it praise god initially it is not easy to obey the voice of god obey the man of god amen so many times Saul was uh, sending him David to kill him. Praise God. He was sending. His desire was in heart. This guy 
should be dire. Praise God. But instead of that, he got victory. Once he returned, he killed all his enemies. And God was with him. Praise God. So he was obeying several, several times. And I can give you one more example from the Patrus life. Patrus was a professional fisherman by profession. Praise God. When Jesus met him and Jesus said, Patrus, he found nothing. All night he was trying to cut the fish, but he got nothing. And uh, Jesus said, Go take your knee and throw the deep of the sea. Praise God. But Patrus is obeyed. So there will be some sequence. He is not uh, by profession fisherman. Who? Jesus Christ. And he is the professional fisherman. So many times he can say, he doesn't know anything. I know very well about the fishing, about the sea. How he can teach me? Maybe he is a teacher. His work is in his school. Or he can teach something from the scripture. But he doesn't know about the fish and the net and the sheep. The sheep. Praise God. But he is obeying. When he obeyed, the Bible says he got a lot. Praise God. So, what I, what I uh, want to bring the point in our practical life, several times, you know, our man of God, our dad, our pastor, he's giving some idea. Do these things, do these things, do this, do that. But we are thinking, maybe he doesn't know. Praise God. Sometimes, sometimes yes, uh, we are thinking, Dad is giving some idea. It's uh, quite different because he doesn't know about our society. He doesn't know about Nepal conditions. He doesn't know about... If Dad is telling you have to buy gold, either he, uh, he will say you have to buy some land. And we are saying, how know? How know he knows uh, what rate is going in our country? The land, how market is there? He doesn't know anything. And he is uh, giving advice to do these things. Praise God. Because I was faced. When he was uh, suggesting me, Rohan, you have to do this, you have to do that. And I look him from down to up. His business, as a construction business, he is struggling a lot. And he is uh, suffering a lot. And uh, he is doing these things. So now he is uh, suggesting me, now he is giving me idea to do this business. And I look over him, he doesn't know about him. How can he give ideas? But the scripture, whenever he says anything, and uh, I compare to the Peter, I compare with the Patrus. Patrus, Peter, he obeyed to the Jesus, and he got too much peace. Praise God. So sometimes the man of God, he is giving some ideas. He is giving some instruction. He is giving something to do this thing. Praise God. And I just like to remind me, we must obey Him. Amen. Praise God. Yes, Whatever He is giving. Some of our brother, you know. Some of our brother, dad is staying to bring their wife. And they are saying, dad doesn't know my condition. You know, my children is there. My father is like that, my mother is like that, my house is like that. And uh, he is just saying, bring your wife. How difficult to bring it, you know, how to manage. But if man of God is giving you some instruction, if man of God is saying you something, so definitely God is speaking to you. Praise God. And sometimes our brothers, those who are working with the dad, and he will say, you have to work here. <coughs> Praise God. Sometimes he can say, you have to work here since uh, this was period, you have to spend it 
you have to apply here, you have to do it, and definitely we must obey it. Praise God. When I came here in Dubai, my salary was not good, and I never ever think, so I will have a car, I will have a flag, my wife will be with me. I never ever think this. Praise God. And I just try to obey to the Father. And even several times, I was trying to run away from this church, run away from the dad. But only one voice comes from the Spirit. He is a man of God. I must obey him. I must listen to him. Praise God. How is his condition? How is he suffering? How is his business? That is not my condition. Praise God. God put him. God appoint him as a leader. Praise God. And he is the one who started church in this Dubai. I am not. I went to join with him. He did not come to me. Praise God. This INCC church started by Pastor Malcolm, not by me. And God gave me, God sent me to join with the Pastor Malcolm. Praise God. So there is no any option to avoid him. I must obey him. Praise God. If God if God has a plan, so before Pastor Malcolm, he will appoint me here in Dubai. Praise God. So I must have to obey him. Praise God. And I was uh, trying to follow him. It was quite difficult. It was quite difficult. It was not easy. Whenever he give some instructions, it will be very tough. Praise God. And when we listen to him, we will not be lose anything. Praise God. It says scripturally, the Bible says, those who will obey, he will eat good fruit of this land. Praise God. If whoever does not obey him, they will have a cause. Praise God. So obedience, it comes from the blood stream. Praise God. So we need to practice it. Sometimes, you know, the Enos will come and he will say something. Brother, Roman brother, can you do these things? Okay. If I think, if I said, Enos, who is Enos? He is very younger than me. He just come to a church and he doesn't know anything. I am teaching him. How can I listen him? If Malcolm sir and if Malcolm dad says, okay, I will obey him. If any elder brother, if Joseph brother says, okay, I will obey him. Praise God. It is an ego. So if I deny it, sometimes you know, the small, small things, if we deny it, so it begins habitually in our life. That's the reason the Bible says, if you were faithful, with the small things, you will be faithful with the bigger things. Praise God. If I started to listen to the small things, if I started to obey with the small things, definitely we can do it the greater things as, as the Jesus says. Praise God. If you believe, if you obey, you will do greater things than me. Praise God. So that was uh, that was trying several times. The obedience it comes from the blood stream. Praise God. So we should not be boost. We should not keep like this. We should not ignore. We should not deny. If someone asks something, suddenly we must be doing it. Praise God. But the obedience is it's a. Uh, the obedience, it means, as I told you before, is the, uh, the meaning of obedience to listen diligently, to listen intelligently. Praise God. 
there is a two kinds of things. If you see in the book of Romans, praise God, there are two kinds of obedience. Either you will be, either you will obey to the death, either you will obey to the righteousness. Praise God. If you obey to the death, you will be the slave of death, you will be slave of sins. Praise God. If you obey to the righteousness, you will have a life. Praise God. So that's the reason the Bible says if you is, is described, you have to listen it very intelligently. You have to follow it intelligently. Intelligently means wisely. Praise God. So some of the things, very small denying, it sent us to the hell. Praise God. And I like to read this uh, verse, the book of Roman, 1 5. Can you read it for me? The book of Roman. Chapter 1, verse 5. If anyone found, please read it for me. Praise God. It says, Through whom we receive grace and apostasy unto obedience and faith among all the nations for his name say. Praise God. Uh, there is a, a vast mysterious things. Several, the churches of the God in the, if you see in the world, in see in the Nepal or everywhere, we are under the grace, not the law. Praise God. And we, they are every time, you know, what we call Nara, they have only one voice. Grace, 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 grace. We are saved by grace. We are a grace. We are singing every time grace. But the Bible says here, grace is okay. We must need grace. By the grace we are saved. Praise God. And there is a one more thing. Grace and apostle. Apostle sees. Praise God. So apostle sees is a same like a grace. Praise God. If anyone doesn't know about apostle sees, if anyone they are not following, if anyone is not obeying to the word of God, if anyone, if anyone has the obedience heart, they are the apostle. Praise God. And they are Already in grace. Amen. Praise God. They don't need grace. If somebody understands what is the apostle sees. Praise God. If we are in apostolic season, if we are practicing the what is the apostolic seed, if we are doing the apostle, apostle means same one. The same one means, especially those who are appointed, to, especially those who are doers, not the listeners. Mm. Praise God. We can see the time of Jesus, there are thousands of disciples, they are following to the Jesus. But only 11 of them, only the 12 of them, they become a follower of Jesus Christ. And they become a apostle. Praise God. And if you are already in apostolic ministry, if you are already doing some apostolic activities, some ap apostolic zone, you have a grace. Amen. Praise God. Those who doesn't know about apostolic sin, those who are not practicing the work, the acts of apostolic, they need grace. Praise God. But those who are already in track of apostolic movement, 
those who are exercising they have sufficient grace amen praise god so that's why the god says to the paul you have a sufficient grace praise god praise god okay god bless you all let's uh, we all send